Hello everyone, it's Mario. Welcome to my channel if you're here for the first time and welcome back to the rest of you. If you are new here, I just talk and do doll reviews and figurines and everything Disney. If you want Disney news and all that good stuff, then you can follow me on Instagram as well where I'm active pretty much every day. So today we're doing a review for this new Wendy classic doll released by Disney Store. Now it's really the first time that Disney Store makes a Wendy doll. They did a Wendy doll, or they sold a Wendy doll a long time ago, um, but it was a, in collaboration with Mattel. So Mattel is really the one that did that doll. Then Mattel re-released that doll later. So yeah, overall, this is the first time that we get a Disney store Wendy doll, and they did not disappoint. Um, I think she looks great. The retail price is $16.99, and you can find her, find her on shopdisney.com or at your local stores if they are open. Now, this Wendy doll uses the same face sculpt as the new Alice doll, which I already have a review for if you'd like to check that out, but I will be comparing them um, towards the end of this video. So you can see um, that it's the same face mode, just different paint jobs, really amazing different paint jobs that sets them apart. So I'll show you that later. And yeah, no more talking, let's get right into this review. Here we have Wendy in the box and she looks really cute. She looks like she's flying because her hair is like up. <laughs> some of them have really messy hair from what I've seen uh, people receive and this one is not great but we'll get through it you see Peter Pan right there behind her that is so cute and then we have of course the tower with the clock it says Peter Pan Wendy and it's a really nice box I love um, the sketch of Wendy here as well so pretty and I know a lot of you are happy to finally get a Wendy doll there's a little Tinkerbell on this side and the baby and the moon <laughs> it's so so cute retail price again $16.99 and we have silhouettes of Peter Pan Wendy uh, the tower again pretty much everyone and then we have a picture of Wendy flying and it says on the top Wendy Peter Pan we have Tinkerbell and a compass right there really really cool really pretty box here we have um, just you know the inside without the glare of the plastic and again she looks like she's flying which is really cute because she's smaller and doesn't really fit <laughs> doesn't really take up the whole box like a regular doll does and here we have Wendy out of the box I'm not sure what her height is but I would assume is around eight or nine she's definitely smaller than a regular doll and I'll show you a comparison a size comparison towards the end of the video but yeah there you have her she's so cute and we're gonna take a closer look now at her face. And she's beautiful. She has bright blue eyes, pink lips. She just looks super cute. And the hair is really nice too. She has a little um, mark there, which I can get rid of later with some alcohol. But yeah, I love the profile. It just looks like her. Um, to me at least, she looks like Wendy. And of course, Alice, as I said in my Alice video, they share the same face sculpt, but they managed to give them totally different paint jobs they are so cute i mean they look alike in the cartoon so it makes sense that they reused the same face right they are adorable i think alice was my favorite until i finally opened wendy i might be it might be wendy now i'm not really sure yet now when it comes to the hair they try their best to replicate what we see in the movie it's not 100 percent these curls in the front are a little messy on mine but it's not bad at all i love that they included the little blue bow as you can see, she has another uh, rubber band that is the same color of her hair, and the bow comes in a separate rubber band. Now, when it comes to the curls, you can always play with them and curl them up yourself. This is what I did to it. You know, I didn't do it on camera. I'm doing it on camera now, but this is what I did to it because they were messy. And you could just kind of pull them like this to make it a little lower if it's too high up. And it just looks perfect in my opinion. I love that they gave her the curls. It's a classic, classic look for her. Now, when it comes to the dress, it's not 100% accurate, um, you know, she doesn't really have that bow in the front, but I like that they added it, it's a little something, you know? Uh, one of the biggest complaints, again, with this entire new dolls is the glitter. It gets on everything, I'm not a fan, but the kids love it, and this is for the kids after all. So no complaints, just wish the glitter wasn't there, you can try and remove it, uh, but overall, the quality of the outfit is pretty nice. She has a blue underwear to match the outfit, and yeah, I love the trim on the top, the white trim and the puffy sleeves. I love that, very um, accurate actually. And of course, I already had shown it to you, but I love the trim on the bottom. Yeah, the bow is cute, definitely. 
you could remove it if you wanted to, um, but I don't, I actually really like it. Now, when it comes to the legs, there are rubber legs and she does have pointy feet. She doesn't have the flat feet at all. Um, even though she has, you know, flat shoes, her feet are not the flat ones. Thank God for that because we are not a fan of that. <laughs> And here you have Alice, Esmeralda, and Wendy for a quick size comparison. As you know, Esmeralda is your regular classic 12 inch or 11 inch doll. And you can see here that Wendy and Alice are shorter. Now, I don't know the exact number, but definitely around eight or nine inches tall, I would think. Alrighty, my friends, well, that is all for today. I hope that you enjoyed my review. And if you have any questions, please leave them down below or contact me on Instagram. Also, if you haven't checked out my reviews for the other heroin dolls, make sure that you do that. They're all available. And yeah, I'm so happy that Disney's doing rare characters. Let's hope for new limited edition ones as well. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all on my next video. Bye-bye.